वेलकम चिल्ड्रन साइराम लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ अवर चैप्टर सिक्स लेट्स रिवाइज व्हाट वी लर्न इन प्रीवियस सेशन द न्यू थिंग्स व्हिच वी हैव लर्न वर सबसेट इफ ए एंड बी आर गिवन टू सेट्स एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ बी इज आल्सो एन एलिमेंट ऑफ ए सो वी से बी इज सबसेट ऑफ ए then we have learned about universal set as the name indicates universal it's a bigger set which will accommodate all the given sets under consideration and how it is denoted by u capital u and when diagram we draw rectangle to represent universal set then we have studied about the complement of a set complement of a set given a set b and every element of b is in the universal set but the elements which are not in b are considered as complement of set b so here is a, a complement of set b given the general form rule method that is set builder method b complement is a set of all x such that x is an element of u and x is not an element of b so we have to remember b complement is it's every element it is in universal set but not in b these things we have studied in previous session let's continue with our practice set 1.3 in that sixth question which set of numbers could be the universal set for the sets given below a set of multiples of 5 b set of multiples of 7 c set of multiples of 12 and we have to find the universal set for the given sets so first let's list them when we list the sets a is a set of having the elements 5 10 15 20 25 1 on. because all these sets are infinite set when we say multiples of 5 infinite set it is similarly set b having the multiples of 7 7 14 21 28 dot dot we put to indicate it is infinite set c multiples of 12 so 12 24 36 dot dot that is continue now which sets can be taken as universal set we can take set of natural numbers which will have all these elements even we can take whole numbers even integers so our answer is natural numbers whole numbers integers but which letters we take for them capital n capital w capital i any of these sets can be taken as universal set now let's learn operation on sets as we say in max operations that is mathematical operations so when we say mathematical operations what we do we say addition subtraction division multiplication so these are considered as mathematical operations same way when we talk about sets operations on sets we consider two things intersection of two sets union of two sets so first intersection of two sets as the name indicates intersection that is common elements or when we say when two lines intersect there is one and only one point in common that is intersection is related to common common elements suppose a and b are two given sets then the set of all common elements of a and b is called the intersection of set a and b and how it is denoted how we write it a this is the symbol of intersection that is u inverted u b so a intersection b and when we define it using the set builder form that is method then how we write a intersection b is a set of all x such that x is an element of a and x is an element of b it means a intersection b is also a set having the common elements common elements of a and b now example a is set is having the elements 1 3 5 7 and b is having 2 3 6 8 so are there any common elements yes which is that common element 
Now A intersection B is also a set. So how will be writing? A intersection B is equal to write in curly bracket 3 and close the bracket. So A intersection B is having 3 that is a common element. Now Venn diagram representation. We know what are Venn diagrams? Close figures. So any close figure but here circles are more comfortable. So draw one circle name set A. Draw another circle set B. Let's write the elements of set A in set A circle. 1, 3, 5, 7. Set B, the elements are 2, 3, 6, 8. Now 3 is common in both. So it will come in that common part which is overlapping part or which we can, it's shown here common. It is actually A intersection B. For your understanding it is shown here common. It is A intersection B which we can easily understand overlapping part that is common is A intersection B. Now here are some of the properties. When we say A intersection B, it is same as B intersection A. And if A intersection B is equal to B, set B, then what does it indicate? That all common elements are of B. It means every element of B is in A intersection B. So B is subset of A. And A intersection A complement. Now is there any common element between A and complement of A? No, it is an empty set. So it is empty set or we use this symbol phi. A intersection A is A. When we take set A, common element of set A is A only. And A intersection empty set. Now empty set is not having any element, no single element. So, will there be any common element? No, it will be an empty set. So, A intersection empty set is empty set. These are properties of intersection of sets. Disjoint sets, as the name indicates, disjoint, there is no common element between the two sets. A is having element 1, 3, 5, 9 and set B is having 2, 4, 8. Is there any common element? No. So, A intersection B is empty set. You can show like this empty set two curly brackets or we can also use a further symbol phi. So, this is about intersection of elements, common elements in A and B and these joint elements have no common elements. Now, union of two sets. Now, the word union indicates that it is combining the two sets. Or bringing together two sets. So A, let A and B be two given sets. Then the set of all elements of A and B is called the union of two sets. It is all elements of A and B. And how it is written as? A, U we write that is B. So this is A union B. And how it is defined using the set builder form method? A intersection B is a set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. So remember in union set it is X is an element of A or X is an element of B. And intersection what we did was X is an element of A and X is an element of B. So that is the difference between intersection, intersection common elements. Here all elements but keep in mind repetition is not allowed. No element is repeated. Here is an example. Set A is having the elements negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, 0. Set B 0, 3, 5. Now what we have to do? We have to find A union B. So we have to write the elements of A. Negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, 0. Then elements of B. Element of B is having 0. It is common element. So common element do we write? No. Repetition not allowed. So we will be writing 3, 5. So elements of A union B are negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, 0, 3, 5. And this is the Venn diagram representation. Set A is element. Negative 3, negative 5, negative 1, 0. And B, 0, 3, 5. But 0 is common. So it is written once. 
so when you read all the elements of a union b all elements are there so this is about intersection which we have done previously now union of sets now properties of union of sets now what are the properties a union b is same as b union a you can say a union b we can say also say b union a if a is subset of b so every element of a is in b a subset of b then a union b is b the bigger set and a union complement of a when we take a and union complement of a then it comes a universal set that is universal set under consideration so that is u for universal set and a union a's union of set a this is a and a union empty set will be also set a so these are some of the properties of union of sets now number of elements in a set if the set is finite having limited elements countable we can count the elements so set a is having the elements 3 6 9 12 15 so how many elements are there in set a 5 set b is having the elements 6 12 18 24 30 36 so how many elements are there 6 and how we write number of elements small n and in bracket you write the name of the set like small n in bracket a that is number of elements in a how we read it number of elements in a is equal to 5 similarly write small n in brackets capital B so number of elements in set B is 6 now let's find a union B what is a union B Every, all elements of a and B repetition not allowed so first we write the elements of a 3 6 9 12 15 now set b 6 and 12 is already there so we will not write again then we will write 18 24 30 36 so how many elements are there in a union b nine elements and how we write small n and in bracket a union b now let's find a intersection b so which are the common elements 2 which are they 6 12 how we write it write like this small n in bracket a intersection b 2 now let's derive a formula from here number of elements in a 5 number of elements in b 6 so 5 plus 6 11 minus the number of elements in a intersection b how many are there 2 so 11 minus 2 9 and how many elements are there in a union b 9 so here is a formula which we have derived number of elements in a union b is equal to number of elements in a plus number of elements in b minus number of elements in a intersection b as we have seen here 5 plus 6 11 minus 2 9 that is a union b so this is the formula which we will be using to solve the sums based on sets and given is the venn diagram representation set a elements having 3 6 9 12 15 b 6 12 18 24 30 36 see the overlapping part that is the a intersection b part that is common element 6 and 12. So again remember the formula. Which is the formula? Number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. Practice set 1.4. First sum. If number of elements in A is equal to 15, number of elements in A union B is equal to 29, Number of elements in A intersection B is equal to 7. Then find that is number of elements in B. So the formula which we have learnt is going to help us to find. So solution. First write formula. Number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A 
plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. After writing formula, substitute the values. So, in place of A union B, we are going to write how many elements are there? 29 equal to number of elements in A, 15 plus number of elements in B minus 7. That is A intersection B is given 7. Now, equation is formed. Solve the equation. 29 is equal to 15 minus 7. That is 8. 8 plus number of elements in B. Then 8 will go to other side of equality. It will become minus, negative. So 29 minus 8 is equal to number of elements in B. Now what is the answer 29 minus 8? Yes, 21. So number of elements in B is equal to 21. So this is the way we can solve the sums based on sets using the formula. Another example, this sum is from problem set. If number of elements in A is equal to 20, number of elements in B is equal to 28, and number of elements in A union B is equal to 36, then number of elements in A intersection B is equal to question mark. We have to find that. Now what is the first step? Write formula. What is the formula? Number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A, plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. Next step, substitute the values. So, in place of A union B, we will write 36 is equal to number of elements in A are 20, in B 28. So, 20 plus 28 minus number of elements in A intersection B. Now, 36 is equal to 20 plus 28. 48. 48 minus number of elements in A intersection B. Now it is given 36 is equal to 48 minus number of elements in A union A intersection B. So when we say A intersection B, take A intersection B to other side of equality. So it will become number of elements in A intersection B is equal to 48. 36 is taken to other side. So minus 36. So number of elements in A intersection B is equal to 12. So, this is the way solving the sum based on formula. Now, let us try this. If number of elements in A is equal to 7, number of elements in B is equal to 13, and number of elements A intersection B is 4, then find number of elements in A union B. So, what is the formula? Number of elements in A union B is equal to Number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. Next step, substitute the values. Number of elements in A union B is equal to, yes, 7 plus 13 minus 4. Then number of elements in A union B is equal to, from left to right we will do the operation. That is 7 plus 13, that is 20, 20 minus 4. So, answer is 16. Number of elements in A union B is 16. So, what we have studied was about union of sets, intersection of sets and the formula which we have derived to solve the sums based on operation on sets. Yes, so what we have learned today, union of sets, intersection of sets and the union formula, union of sets formula. So thus we conclude here and we will continue in the next session. Thank you. Bye. See you in next session.